Hello Friday now, Mrs Matthews here. Hello Year 9, it's Mrs Matthews here. So far as part of our online learning we have com covered a number of topics and a number of themes. We are now going to be moving along to the skill of speaking for the next few lessons. You will have a few lessons to prepare a speaking assessment. There will be two parts to this speaking assessment, Ran In, Part 1, Ran Dai, Part 2. The first part will consist of a presentation about yourself, Kavluyniad, an introduction, covering a number of things that you see on screen, such as your name, Eno, Boo, where you live, Oid, your age, Pembloid, birthday, etc. The second part will be a theme of your choice, a theme that you've studied so far, either in Key Stage 3 at some point, um, or this year as part of your Welsh lessons. You can see a list here on screen of some of the examples of the ones you might have studied. Damavi, All About Me, Hamfena, Leisure, Gwyliau Holidays, Er Ardal, All your, About Your Area, Buniach, Eating Healthily, Arcad and Heini, Keeping Fit. You will be expected to discuss both parts for your presentation and this will be your introduction and a theme. So if we look at part one then, Ran In, this would be your introduction. For the first part of the presentation you need to introduce yourself in Welsh of course and include key sentence patterns that you've learned so far during Key Stage 3. You should aim to include as much information as possible about yourself but at the very least you name your age where you live what school you go to likes and dislikes and always remember to give reasons for your opinion also you need to remember to include appropriate idioms and to vary your sentence patterns if you don't manage to do this you are not able to reach a level five I have included in the PowerPoint Tavlin Help, which is a help page for your presentation. This, this particular slide will help you with um, introducing yourself. It's got some sentence patterns that you should know, but might be useful as a reminder to you. For the second part, as I said, you will be able to pick any of the topics that we've previously studied. And here's the list. Once you've selected the theme of your choice, you should refer to your Welsh folders and retrieve the topic booklet of your choice. These should be at home with you along with your Welsh books. You should write as much as you can about that particular theme and then you have it ready as a script for your speaking presentation. You could refer to the extended piece of writing that you might have done on this topic already, it might be in your red books, and you'd be able to just learn that straight off. For example, if you decided you were going to go along the topic Boo and Yach, you'd be able to look for your Boo and Yach book and take out the most important things from there or refer to your article that you wrote on Boo and Yach and learn those for your speaking presentation. So, for example, you'd want to include things like your favourite food, least favourite food, the hof and hearth, the effects of eating healthily on the body. Um, you will have learnt things like Clave de Gallon, um, you will have learnt things like Trawiad ar y galon, Pwysau Gwad Eichel. You could give your opinion about healthy eating, whether you eat healthy and follow a balanced diet or not. And also you could draw in on Cad and Heine keeping fit and bring that into Bywyniach as well. I've included some slides that could help you with the different topics. There's one on Hamthena. There's one on Ur Ardal, all about your area. There's one being included on Bywyniach, Cadwyn Heini, Gwyliau, Holidays. And any of these that you choose, you can use those help sheets along with the materials you've got at home to be able to construct your scripts that you could learn it. This is an assessment, Assessiad Llavar, and therefore you will be marked against the um, national curriculum levels. I've included these as well so that you can look at them for your information. So we're looking at level two here all the way up to level six and because this is an assessment your teacher will be marking your presentation against these levels. Please read through these carefully and keep them in mind when you're planning your work. You need to be able to 
include as much detail as possible, vary your sentence patterns, express your opinion, give reasons for your opinion, say words accurately and clearly, and of course because this is a speaking presentation, pronunciation is, is key, is vital to be able to achieve your levels. You should be able to vary your tenses and be able to vary the person. So you should be able to use the third person correctly by now, my in, my heen. You need to be able to also include expressing opinion sentence structures to achieve level 5 or above. So for example, you want to be using things like envamani, a board and honest, we mevel board, ar a rin llaw, ar a llaw arall, a dweud a gwir. All of these things will improve your work significantly. Also bear in mind that using Welsh idioms in your work does contribute towards um, achieving a higher level. There will be an expectation for you to learn this work off by heart, so what I would suggest is that you script the work that you need. So script your um, introduction to begin with, pick the topic that you would like to talk about, script the topic, make yourself some, some crib sheets, make yourself some little bullet point notes, and then start to learn it. We will permit in the recording for you to use your um, just your cue cards. This leads to the trickiest part. How are you going to record and submit your work? So the easiest way for this to be achieved is to probably use your phones. Please could you submit a voice recording only and not a video? If you do opt for a video, can you ensure that there is nothing in the background and the video is pointing um, to just a blank um, background, please? You can use voice memos in your phone to achieve your voice recording. It would be most useful if you were recording on your phone that you have the Teams app on your phone. To achieve this, you can go to the App Store on your phone and download the Teams app. Once you have the Teams app on your phone, you will see the, the assignment will be available on Teams under Assignments. And then once you click on the assignment, you will see Add Work. This will have a little paper clip next to it. Once you click on Add Work, you will have a drop down menu which you can see on the screen. And that will give you options OneDrive, New File, Link, Teams. And you want to opt for that bottom one there, which is Upload from this device. You can then go to your photo library and select the voice recording which contains your speaking assessment. And once you have selected the file, you will see it appear under Add Work. Finally, you just need to select Handed In. Um, that option will be available to you on the right hand corner of the screen. And then that will actually submit your voice recording to us as teachers for us to assess. Some pupils have opted in the past to send it via email as an attachment if they're having difficulty with this method, and that's fine. Here are some dates and deadlines that might be useful to you. So the, the, um, for nine, anybody at nine PON, um, the dates would be as followed. So your teacher will set the assignment for you on your Friday lesson on the 26th of February. You will then have two lessons to prepare the speaking. So as I said, writing your scripts, learning, making cue cards. And then on the lesson Friday the 5th of March, you will be expected to submit your speaking assessment via Teams assignments. Similarly, for 90s, your speaking assessment will be set by your teacher on your team's lesson on Thursday the 25th of February. You will once again have two lessons to prepare and then you'll be expected to submit your speaking assessment via team's assignments on Monday the 8th of March. Good luck to you all. Your teachers will be available on Teams in the normal live chat to answer any questions you may have and to help you along the way whilst you are scripting your work. Dear Hanvar.